negative reminder concept yesterday we did the foundation problem i'll just discuss the concept once again entire class will be on the problem solving sir we will solve as many problems as possible yesterday we did this example 13 when divided by 5 13 when divided by 5 13 is getting divided by 5 13 is called the dividend this number is getting divided by which number 5 so 5 is called the divisor 13 divided by 5 5 twos are 10 what is the leftover leftover it is nothing but the positive reminder 5 twos are 10 leftover it is nothing but the positive reminder negative reminder take a multiple of 5 just greater than 13 5 threes are 15 negative reminder is minus 2 5 threes are 15 negative reminder is minus 2 negative reminder is an illusionary concept in mathematics reminders can never be negative but i am using this concept to make my calculations extremely easy to make my calculations extremely easy one important key point in case if you got a negative reminder in case if you got a negative reminder add it with the denominator to get the positive reminder 5 minus 2 it is nothing but 3 in case if you got the positive reminder subtract it from the denominator to get the negative reminder you got a negative reminder always remember reminder based problems answer can never be negative you got a negative reminder add it with denominator you got a negative reminder add it with denominator you got a positive reminder subtract it from the denominator subtract it from the denominator minus 2 plus 5 it is nothing but 3 3 minus 5 it is nothing but minus 2 one more example suppose 39 divided by 7 7 5s are 35 positive reminder it is 4 negative reminder 7 6 are 42 negative reminder it is nothing but 3 negative reminder it is nothing but 3 kindly in case if you are not good in reminders i would request you to please go back and watch the session number one do all the foundation based problems then watch this video the understanding of this concept will be much more effective this is the definition of a negative reminder this is how negative reminders can be converted into positive reminders and positive reminders can be converted into a negative reminder yesterday in session number one we did a lot of classes problems related to a multiple types now today's class the entire class today will be driven by problem solving we will take a lot of problems and we will try to solve it using the concepts whatever we discussed using the concepts whatever we discussed we are going to learn the concepts through a problem solving let us see the first question first question i hope it is clear now when the class is proceeding i would be taking a lot of original exam questions question number one 68 into 68 into 69 into 71 divided by 73 68 into 69 into 71 divided by 23 multiplying 68 69 and 71 doing it by 73 it is difficult so what i will do is i will use a negative reminder concept to get this answer quickly i will use a negative reminder concept the first concept is first divide first divide 68 by 73 73 ones are 73 negative reminder is minus 5 73 ones are 73 7 68 is 5 less than 73 so minus 5 73 ones are 73 minus 4 73 ones are 73 minus 2 divided by 73 minus 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 answer is minus 5 fours are 20 22 are 40 22 are 40 negative reminder it is nothing but minus 40 whenever you got a negative reminder add with the denominator to get the positive reminder add with the denominator to get the positive reminder 73 minus 40 it is nothing but 
33. Again, I am repeating it. Each and every question close to about 75 plus problems I am going to discuss in this marathon class. 73 ones are 73. Negative reminder minus 5. 73 ones are 73. Minus 4. 73 ones are 73. Minus 2. Minus, minus, minus. Answer will be negative. Negative, negative, negative. 5 fours are 20, 20 twos are 40. Minus 40, it is the negative reminder. Whenever you get a negative reminder, add with the denominator to get the positive reminder. 73 minus 40, it is nothing but 33. First one answer is 33. Second one, you will see some of these questions in your original exam also. Second question it is 1421 into 1423 into 1425 divided by 25 divided by 25 divided by 25. Now if you see here, let me check whether 1425, 1425 is divisible by 5. These also seems to be divisible by 5. Let me check it out 1425, whether it is divisible by 25 or not. 25 5s are 125, 142, 125 over, remaining is 17, 175, so 25 into 57, 25 into 57, 25 5's are 125, 25 7's are 175, which is nothing but 1425, which is nothing but 1425. That means in the numerator, 1425 is divisible by 25, 1425 is divisible by 25, if it is perfectly divisible, see here, suppose 12 is divisible by 2. If 12 is divisible by 2, remainder will be 0. 2, 6 are 12. When a number is perfectly divisible, remainder will be 0. 0 into any number. 0 into any number. Answer is nothing but 0. Answer is nothing but 0. This is the first question, which is an introductory question. Second question, where one of the numerical values in the numerator, one of the numerical values in the numerator, 1425, it is perfectly divisible by 25. You don't need to do anything related to 1421 and 1423. Why? Because 0 into any number, it is 0. 0 divided by any natural number, answer is 0. 0 divided by any natural number, it is zero. Third question, which is an original exam question. Question is, reminder when 1998 into 1999 into 2000 into 2000 divided by 7. These are... Yesterday we discussed this. This came under type number 1, model 1. We will not do separately for all the three numerical values. What we will do is, first we will divide 1998 by 7. Whatever the answer we got, we will add 1 to it. Again, whatever the answer we got, we will add 1 to it. 1998 divided by 7. Do the generic division. 7 twos are 14, 15, 9. 7 eights are 56, 38. 7 fives are 35. Again, I am repeating. 7 twos are 14, 15, 9. 7 eights are 56, 38. 7 fives are 35, 3. If it is giving you 3, this number is 1 more than this number. So it is 4. This number is 1 more than this number. It is nothing but 5. And it is divided by 7. 3 fours are 12, 12 fives are 60, 60 divided by 7, 60 divided by 7, 7 eights are 56, answer for this question is 4 and this is one of the previous year management entrance exam replica question. The question which was given in a previous year cat is 1421 into 1423 into 1425 divided by 12, again I am repeating. 1998 divided by 7, 7 twos are 14, 15 9, 7 eights are 56, 38, 7 fives are 35, 
3. If this is 3, this is 1 more than this number, this is 1 more than this number, so it will be 4. This is 1 more than this number, this is nothing but 5. 3 into 4 into 5, whenever you are dividing a number by 7, the answer, reminder will be from 0 to 6. In case if you got a value greater than 7, further divided by 7. 3 4s are 12, 12 5s are 60. 60 divided by 7. 7 8s are 56, 4. Now, this is another model. Yesterday we discussed this model. Reminder 1, 9 power 87 divided by 82. 9 power 87 divided by 82. 9 divided by 82. Yesterday we discussed. We have to check which power of numerator. We have to check which power of numerator when divided by denominator. Either I will get plus 1 or minus 1. We have to check which power of numerator. Which power of numerator. When divided by denominator, I will get plus 1 or minus 1. 9 square is 81. So it is nothing but 9 square power 43. 243 is our 86. Into 9 power 1 divided by 82. Into 9 power 1 divided by 82. Now if you observe, the reason why am I doing like this? 9 square divided by 82. 9 square is 81. 81 divided by 82. 82 ones are 82. Negative reminder minus 1. Minus 1 power odd into 9. Minus 1 power odd into 9 divided by 82. Which is nothing but minus 9. Positive reminder is 82 minus 9. Answer is nothing but 73. Answer is nothing but 73. Very, very important learning. 9 and 82. 9 and 82. Both are co-prime to each other. Two numbers are said to be co-prime to each other. If their HCF is 1. 9. The factors of 9 are 1, 3 and 9. The factors of 82 are 1, 2 and 41. There is only one factor common that is 1. Therefore, we can apply this concept. Why? What will happen if the numbers are not co-prime to each other? That also we will discuss as the class progresses. This model yesterday we discussed. Next one. Reminder 1, fifth question, all the previous year examination questions are also covered in as a part of the class. Reminder 1, 2 power 2004 divided by 7, 2 power 2004, 2 power 2004, 2 divided by 7, am I getting plus 1 or minus 1? No. So which power of 2 when divided by 7, I will get plus 1 or minus 1? 2 cube divided by 7. 3 6 are 18. 3 6 are 18. 668 divided by 7. 8 divided by 7. 8 divided by 7. It is nothing but 1. 8 divided by 7. This is nothing but 1. Same question, 5th question, yesterday we discussed. 6th. 6th is again an exam level question. Exam model question. Wherever I am keeping a star mark, kindly... Kindly keep it in the notebook with a star mark, sir. Very, very important question it is. Reminder 1, 25 power 25. 25 power 25 divided by 9. 25 power 25 divided by 9. First, I will tell you the traditional method. Once I discuss Chinese reminder theorem, if the answer options are there, how you can tick mark the Eliminate all the incorrect answer options, we will see it. 9 twos are 18. 18. You can solve this problem in two methods. Method number one. If I take the positive reminder, 9 twos are 18. Reminder it is 7 power 25 divided by 9. 9 twos are 18, which is nothing but which power of 7? Will when you divide by 9, I will get 1. 7 cube it is 343. 343. Sum of the digits is 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 3, 10. So it is 7 cube power 8 into 7 power 1 divided by 9. 7 cube digit. 
Sum of the digits it is 1. Sum of the digits is nothing but the divisibility rule of 9. 1 into 7. Answer is nothing but 7. Answer is nothing but 7. What is the first method I used? First method I used is based on the positive reminder concept. First method I used is based on the positive reminder concept. If you see this question, this question has appeared in a lot of aptitude examinations. Method number two. Method number two. If I use a negative reminder concept, if I use negative reminder concept, see here, 9 threes are 27. Negative reminder is minus 2. Minus 2 power 25 divided by 9. Minus power odd, it is minus 2 power 25 divided by 9. 2 power 25 divided by 9. So, this is nothing but either 2 cube you can take or 2 power 6 you can take. You should get plus 1 or minus 1. 8 by 9, it is minus 1. So, minus 1. Power even is 1, minus 2. So the positive reminder will be 7. So the positive reminder will be 7. So the positive reminder, it will be 7. Positive reminder, it will be 7. Please put a star mark on this question. Either you can use positive reminder or you can use negative reminder. Either you can use positive reminder or negative reminder. Two power 32 divided by 7. Again an examination question. 7 fours are 28. Remaining it is 4. 4 power 32. 4 power 32 divided by 7. So these is nothing but which power of 4? 4 cube power 10 into 4 square divided by 7. 4 cube power 10 into 4 square divided by 7. What is 4 cube? 4 cube is 64. 7 nines are 63. 1. 16 divided by 7. 2. We are just starting with the basics again. Once after 2 more problems, the level of difficulty will grow. The 7th one answer it is nothing but 2. 8th one. Reminder when 11 power 11 divided by 9. These you can also use by using answer options. 9 ones are 9. Reminder it is 2. 2 power 11 divided by 9. 2 power 11 divided by 9. So these are nothing but 2 power 6 into 2 power 5 divided by 9. 2 power 6 into 2 power 5. 2 power 6 is 64. 64 by 9 it is 9. 7 are 63. 1. 2 power 5 is 32. 9 threes are 27. Positive reminder is nothing but 5. Positive reminder it is nothing but 5. Again I am repeating it sir. 9 ones are 9. What is the leftover? Leftover is called the reminder. 2 power 11 divided by 9. Which power of 2 when you divide by 9? I will get either plus 1 or minus 1. 2 power 6 divided by 9. 2 power 6 is 64. 64 divided by 9 is 9 7s are 63 1. 2 power 5 is 32. 9 threes are 27. Positive reminder it is nothing but 5. Positive reminder nothing but 5. Now, introductory questions, we discussed the questions, introductory questions, some basic questions, what we discussed is, is of the form, reminder 1, numerator power x divided by denominator, numerator power x divided by denominator, this is what we discussed till now, till now what we discussed is, Numerator power x divided by denominator. Now level 2 model. Level 2 problems. Level 2 problems. In level 2 problems, we are going to solve the problem. We are going to solve a very interesting type which is a power x power y divided by b. a power x power y 
divided by b once we understand we will also discuss a power x1 power x2 and so on up to infinite divided by b this model we are going to discuss we just discussed a single we just discussed a single power now we are going to discuss the higher power a power x power y divided by b then a power x1 x2 x3 and everything i will spend a lot of time on level 2 problems these were most of the students may get confused hopefully in the next 10 to 15 minutes once you understand the step by step process to solve the problem it should be extremely easy to you now problems first problem question number 1 reminder 1 6 power 7 power 8 divided by 7. 6 power 7 power 8 divided by 7. Now see here. The first thing is most of the st a power m power n is not equal to a power m into n. Please do not multiply 7 and 8. Suppose 2 power 3 power 2. 3 power 2 is nothing but 9 it is not equivalent to 2 power 3 into 2 3 2 are 6 2 power 9 is 5 12 2 power 6 is 64 a power m power n is not equivalent to a power m into n please do not multiply 7 into 8 7 into 8 and waste your time the first thing is 7 is an odd number Odd number power any number. Odd number power any number. Answer is an odd number. Again I am repeating. 7 is an odd number. Odd number power any natural number. It is an odd number. 7 power 1. 7 is an odd number. 7 square. 49 is an odd number. 7 cube. 343. It is an odd number. 7 power 4. 2401. It is also an odd number. Divided by 7. So the first base it is important. 7 is nothing but an odd number. Odd number power. Whether it is an even number or an odd number, answer is an odd number. 6 divided by 7, 7 ones are 7, negative reminder is minus 1, minus 1 power odd number, minus 1 power odd number, answer is nothing but minus 1, minus 1 power odd number, answer is nothing but minus 1. Again I am repeating 6 divided by 7 7 ones are 7 negative reminder is minus 1 7 is an odd number odd number power any number odd number power any number it is an odd number minus 1 power odd number it is minus 1 minus 1 divided by 7 negative reminder minus 1 positive reminder will be 6 whenever you got a negative reminder add it with the denominator to get the positive reminder add it with the denominator to get the positive reminder add it with the denominator to get the positive reminder another four questions which will create then we will solve some problems reminder 1 reminder 1 39 power 41 power 42 divided by 40. 39 power 41 power 42. 39 power 41 power 42 divided by 40. 41 it is an odd number. Odd number power any number it is an odd number. So 39 power odd number. 39 power odd number divided by 40. 39 power odd number divided by 40. 41 it is an odd number. Odd number power any number it is odd. 41s are 40. Negative reminder is minus 1. Minus 1 power odd number. Minus 1 power odd number. It will always give you minus 1. Positive reminder is nothing but 39. Positive reminder it is nothing but 39. Positive reminder it is nothing but 39. First simple questions in level 2. Slowly I will increase the level of difficulty. I hope second question is pretty easy. Third original management exam question. 32 power. 
ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪವರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಲೆವೆನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಪವರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪವರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಪವರ್ ಎನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಪವರ್ ಎನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಪವರ್ ಎನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಪವರ್ ಎನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ರಿಮೈಂಡರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪವರ್ ಆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪವರ್ ಆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ರಿಮೈಂಡರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಟನ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ರಿಮೈಂಡರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಟನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಪವರ್ ಎನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅನ್ ಆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಈವನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಪವರ್ ಎನಿ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅನ್ ಈವನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅನ್ ಈವನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ಎನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ದನ್ making you solve as many problems giving you confidence if i am doing anything else that's a waste of time for me i do not to do anything which waste my time and waste the people who are involved with me and a time which is unproductive 7 power 7 power 7 divided by 6 7 power 7 power 7 divided by 6 very easy question 6 ones are 6 positive reminder it is 1 1 power any number 1 power any natural number divided by 6 answer is nothing but 1 answer is nothing but 1 answer is nothing but 1 very very easy question now what i'll do is i will increase the level of difficulty these second third and fourth are basic problems fifth question fifth question please put a star mark on this question reminder 1 7 power 7 power 33 power 39 divided by 5 7 power 33 power 39 divided by 5 what is the reminder very very good question 5th 6th 7th 8th 9th as many probably probably 3 to 5 questions which we will solve so that you will understand step by step. Step number 1. Step number 1. 5 ones are 5. 5 ones are 5. Remaining it is nothing but 2. 2 power 33 power 39 divided by 5. This is of the model where numerator power x power y greater than denominator where numerator is greater than denominator where numerator is greater than denominator if numerator is greater than denominator first make the numerator base smaller than the denominator 2 power 33 power 39 divided by 5 step number 1 step number 2 listen carefully sir step number 2 after doing step number 1 the question is of the form 2 power something divided by 5. 2 power something divided by 5. Check which power of 2. Check which power of 2. When divided by 5. When divided by 5. I will get plus 1. I will get plus 1. You can also do minus 1. But one more additional step is required to check the power of minus 1. Which power of 2. When you divide by 5. I will get plus 1. 2 power 4 divided by 5, I will get plus 1. Step number 3, take this power, divide by the power which you got 1. So, if I divide the power which is there in the question, 33 power 39 by the power which has given me 1, 4 8s are 32, 4 8s are 32, reminder it is 1. That means, 33 power 39, it is getting divided by 4. Quotient, we don't know. Reminder, it is nothing but 1. Reminder, it is nothing but 1. Yesterday, we discussed dividend equivalent to 33 power 39 equivalent to divisor into quotient plus a reminder. Dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus a reminder. 
what we are doing is we are finding if this power is divided by 4 what will be the remainder whether it is 1 2 3 or so on so 33 power 39 when divided by 4 remainder it is nothing but 1 remainder it is nothing but 1 so these nothing but remainder 33 power 39 is of the form 2 power 4k plus 1 when divided by 5 divided by 5 this is nothing but 2 power 4 power k into 2 power 1 divided by 5 16 divided by 5 remainder 1 1 into 2 answer is nothing but 2 1 into 2 answer is nothing but 2 so again i am repeating sir this is a foundation based problem on a level 2 model listen carefully 5 ones are 5 remainder it is 2 2 power 33 power 39 divided by 5 first this is the first step second step 2 power which number when divided by 5 i will get 1 please do not take minus 1 i will take a question by taking minus 1 one more additional step is required why to waste one more additional space and time 2 power 4 divided by 5 Take the power which is required, divide by the power for which you got one. Divide by the power which you got one. 33 power 39 divided by 4. 4 8s are 32, remainder 1. Dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Divisor into quotient plus remainder. I hope fifth question, it is clear. Sixth question, fifth, as many questions as possible. We will solve it in our class. Sixth question. Reminder 1. 32 power. 32 power 32. 32 power 32 power 32. Divided by 7. 32 power 32 power 32. Divided by 7. Fifth question is the foundation problem. From foundation, we will keep on solving few more problems so that we will understand it step by step step number one if the numerator base is greater than the denominator first reduce seven fours are 28 seven fours are 28 remainder it is four four power 32 power 32 divided by seven make the numerator base smaller than the denominator step number two step number two find out which power of 4 find out which power of 4 when divided by 7 i will get plus 1 4 square divided by 7 2 4 cube 64 divided by 7 6 7 nines are 63 reminder it is nothing but 1 we have to find out which power of the numerator when you divide by 7 i'll get plus 1 step number 3 step number three divide this with this divide the power you require by the power which has given you plus one 32 power 32 divided by three 32 power 32 divided by three three elevens are 33 negative reminder minus one minus one power even minus one power even it is nothing but plus one minus one power even it is nothing but plus one so 32 power 32 this is the dividend it is divided by three quotient i don't know but the reminder it is nothing but one dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient 32 power 32 is divisor into quotient plus reminder that means 32 power 32 when you divide by 3 what is the form it is the 3k plus 1 4 power 3k plus 1 divided by 7 4 power 3k plus 1 divided by 7 now you got the answer it is nothing but 
फोर पावर थ्री पावर के इंटू फोर पावर वन डिवाइडेड बाई सेवन सिक्सटी फोर बाई सेवन वन वन फोर जार फोर वन फोर जार फोर फर्स्ट वी डिड इट फॉर द फर्स्ट पावर देन वी आर रेजिंग फ्रॉम द पावर टू द पावर देन आई विल डू इट फॉर एन इनफाइनेट देन आई विल डू इट फॉर एन इनफाइनेट आई होप द आइडिया इट इज क्लियर सेवन फोर जार ट्वेंटी एट रिमेनिंग इट इज फोर पावर थर्टी टू पावर थर्टी टू द एंटर प्रॉब्लम कैन बी सॉल्व इफ यू आर एबल टू फाइंड आउट विच पवर ऑफ फोर if you are able to find out which power of 4 when you divide by 7 you will get plus 1 anil sir why we should take plus 1 can't we take minus 1 that also will give you the answer let me take an another question to tell you instead of plus 1 if you take minus 1 whether the answer changes answer will not change please take the 7th question i hope the sixth question is clear for all the students who are a serious and a sincere competitive examination aspirant who want to clear the exam in first attempt who does not have time for a nonsense activities giving attention to something which creates a distraction for me for that kind of students these classes are a must attend classes do remember my dear friends time will not wait for anybody today's hard work will result in tomorrow's success and tomorrow's failure is nothing but today's short term temptations and short term distractions i hope it is clear let me see the chart if any questions are there then we'll discuss i right why 32 divided by 3 i want to know these from ashok i want to know what is the form of this number when you divide by 3 any number when you divide by 3 either it will be perfectly divisible by 3 or gives a remainder 1 or gives a remainder 2 so i want to know 32 power 32 what is the form of this number next one sixth question seventh one sir what will happen if i take minus 1 that also we will see remainder 1 11 power 11 power 11 divided by 7 then we will do minus 1 one more example question one more example question 11 power 11 power 11 divided by 7 step number 1 just to go step by step sir if the numerator base is greater than the denominator 7 ones are 7 remaining it is 4 power 11 power 11 divided by 7 7 ones are 7 remaining it is 4 step number 2 which power of 4 which power of 4 when i divide by 7 i will get plus 1 4 cube 64 7 nines are 63 positive remainder it is 1 in the next problem i will take minus 1 step number 3 once you got 1 then the logics are very easy take this power divide by this power take this power this is nothing but 11 power 11 divided by 3 3 fours are 12 3 fours are 12 negative remainder it is minus 1 3 fours are 12 negative remainder minus 1 minus 1 power odd is minus 1 negative remainder minus 1 positive remainder will be 3 minus 1 2 dividend equivalent to dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus remainder dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus remainder i hope step number 3 already it is the third problem where we are doing it step by step 7 ones are 7 4 power 11 power 11 4 power 3 divided by 7 it is 1 11 divided by 3 3 fours are 12 negative remainder minus 1 minus 1 power odd is minus 1 positive remainder 2 what is the form of 11 power 11 3k plus 2 so this is nothing but 4 power 3k plus 2 4 power 3k plus 2 divided by 7 so this is nothing but remainder 4 power 3 power k 
into 4 square into 4 square divided by 7. 4 power 3 is 64. 64 divided by 7. 1. 16 by 7. 7 twos are 14. Answer for this question is 2. Answer for this question is 2. Step number 1. First make the numerator. First make the numerator. Base value. Smaller than the denominator. 7 ones are 7. Reminder it is 4. The entire question you can solve it easily if you are able to determine which power of 4, which power of 4, when divided by 7, it is 1. 4 cube divided by 7, 4 cube it is 64. 64 divided by 7, it is nothing but 1. Sir, can't I take minus 1? 8th question also we will see it. 8th one. 8th one. 11 power 11 power 11. 11 power 11 power 11 divided by 9. 11 power 11 power 11 divided by 9. This problem is a very important problem for us to understand. If Even if I take minus 1, will the answer change? Answer will not change. Let us do it in two methods. Method number 1. Method number 1. Positive reminder. Method number 1. Positive reminder. Then second step method. I will do negative reminder. What is step number one? Step number one is make the numerator base smaller than the denominator. Nine ones are nine. Which is 2 power 11 power 11 divided by 9. 2 power 11 power 11 divided by 9. This is step number one. Step number two. Which power of two? Which power of 2 when divided by 9? Which power of 2 when divided by 9? I will get plus 1 or minus 1. 2 cube divided by 9. 2 cube it is 8. 9 ones are 9. Negative reminder is minus 1. So 2 power 6 is 64. 9 sevens are 63. Reminder it is 1. Positive reminder 64 divided by 9 which is nothing but 1. 2 power 6 divided by 9 it is nothing but 1. Step number 3. Step number 3. Divide this power by this power. If I divide it these are nothing but 11 power 11 divided by 6. 11 power 11 divided by 6. 6 twos are 6 twos are 12 minus 1. Minus 1 power odd number which is nothing but minus 1. If there is a negative reminder, add with the denominator to get the positive reminder. Add with the denominator to get the positive reminder. 11 power 11 dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus reminder. Divisor into quotient plus reminder. So this is nothing but reminder 1. 2 power 6k plus 5. 2 power 6k plus 5 divided by 9. 2 power 6k can be written as 2 power 6 power k into 2 power 5 divided by 9. Divided by 9. These is 1. 32 divided by 9. 9 threes are 27. 9 threes are 27. Positive reminder, it is nothing but 5. Positive reminder, it is nothing but 5. I hope the idea, it is clear. 9 ones are 9. Reminder base is 2 power 11 power 11 divided by 9. Which power of 2, when divided by 9, I got plus 1 or minus 1. 2 power 6 divided by 9. 64 divided by 9. 9 sevens are 63. Positive reminder it is 1. I took a positive reminder here. Same question I will solve it. What is the answer we got for this question? Answer we got for this question it is 5. We got an answer 5 for this question. Now same thing we will do by using negative reminder. Next one. Reminder 1. 11 power, 11 power 11 divided by 9. 
what is step number 1 step number 1 is make the numerator base smaller than the denominator 9 ones are 9 9 ones are 9 it is nothing but 2 power 11 power 11 divided by 9 2 power 11 power 11 divided by 9 step number 2 what i'll do is i will take a negative reminder and i'll prove it to you that both the cases answer will be same method number 2 method 2 method 2 will be negative reminder if i use a negative reminder if i use a negative reminder still the answer will not change why it will not change we will see 11 power 11 power 11 divided by 9 9 ones are 9 positive reminder it is 2 so which power of 2 when you divide by 9 i will get minus 1 2 cube divided by 9 8 divided by 9 9 ones are 9 negative reminder is minus 1 negative reminder is minus 1 step number three step number three listen carefully sir step number three divide this power by this power let me see what will happen if i take minus one 11 power 11 divided by three so these are nothing but three fours are 12 3 4s are 12 minus 1. Minus 1 power odd is minus 1. If the negative reminder is minus 1, positive reminder will be 2. So, dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus reminder. So, 11 power 11 is nothing but 3k plus 2. I hope till here the idea it is clear. In all the previous problems, I took plus 1. Now, I am taking minus 1. 2 cube divided by 9, 8 divided by 9, 9 ones are 9, negative reminder is minus 1. 11 power 11 divided by 3, 3 fours are 12 minus 1. Minus 1 power odd is minus 1, positive reminder it is 2. So 11 power 11 is nothing but 3k plus 2. So these are nothing but, now here, here these, the 11 is an odd number odd number power any number it is an odd number 2 it is an even number 2 it is an even number odd number this is an odd number this is an odd number suppose if i take k as an even number even number into odd number even number into odd number it will be an even number even plus even even plus even it will be even but the left hand side is odd therefore k has to be an odd number this is the extra step which you need to do whenever you are doing minus one 11 power 11 is 3k plus 2 11 is an odd number 2 is an even number odd minus even it will be an odd number 3k will be an odd number 3 into k will be an odd number 3 is an odd number odd number into something will be an odd number that something has to be an odd number that something has to be odd number that something has to be an odd number so these are nothing but reminder of 11 power 11 is 2 power 3k plus 2, 2 power 3k plus 2 divided by 9. So, these are nothing but reminder of 2 power 3 power k into 2 square divided by 9, into 2 square divided by 9. Now, see here, 8 divided by 9 minus 1, k is nothing but an odd number into 4, minus 1 in into 4 which is minus 4 positive reminder is nothing but 5 positive reminder is nothing but 5 the only difference between a negative reminder approach and a positive reminder approach is in a negative reminder problems we need to find the value of k we need to find the value of k we need to Find the value of k. So 9 ones are 9, 2 power 11 power 11 divided by 9. 2 power 3 divided by 9. 8 by 9. 9 ones are 9. Negative reminder, it is minus 1. 
So, 11 power 11 divided by 3. 3 fours are 12 minus 1 power odd is minus 1. Positive reminder it is 2. 11 power 11 is 3k plus 2. 11 is an odd number, 2 is an even number. Odd minus even it will be an odd number. 3 is an odd number. Odd number into something will be an odd number. That k value will be an odd number. Only thing is finding out whether k is an odd number and an even number. These step number, these step is extra. To avoid these steps, because 1 power any natural number, it is 1. Suppose if you take minus 1, minus 1 power odd number, it is minus 1. Minus 1 power even number, it is plus 1. Minus 1 power even number, it is plus 1. For minus 1, there are two answers. Either the if the power is an odd number, I will get minus 1. If the power is an even number, I will get plus 1. So to avoid 2, Different values, I will always take 1 power any natural number, it is 1. 1 power any natural number, it is 1. I hope. Power to power, how to solve the problems? I hope this concept is clear to you. This concept is clear to you. Already we did this problem in case if you want me to solve. 7 fours are 28. Remaining it is 4 power 32 power 32 divided by 7. 7 fours are 28. Remainder it is nothing but 4. Which power of 4 when divided by 7? I will get plus 1. 4 cube divided by 7. 7 nines are 63. 7 nines are 63. Reminder 1. So divide the power with the power which you got 1. 32 power 32 divided by 3. 3 elevens are 33. Minus 1 power even plus 1. So 32 power 32 which is nothing but 3k plus 1. Dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus reminder. Reminder 1. 4 power 3k plus 1 divided by 7. So 4 divided by 7. Answer is nothing but 4. Answer is nothing but 4. Tenth question just now we solved it. After some time I will tell you if answer options are there. Which method? Which method? to be used. Which method to be used? Let me see any valid doubts are there. Next question, please write down sir. 32 power 33 power 34. Already we solved this question. 33 it is an odd number. It is nothing but 32 power odd number. 32 power odd number divided by 11. 11 threes are 33 which is minus 1. Minus 1 power odd number. Minus 1 power odd number is minus 1. So the positive reminder will be 10. So the positive reminder will be 10. Positive reminder will be 10. Twelfth question it is an cat exam question. Cat exam model question. Cat exam model question. Question. Reminder 1. 15 power 23. 15 power 23. Plus 23 power 23. 23 power 23. Divided by 19. Divided by 19. You can solve these problems in multiple methods. The easiest method is 19 ones are 19. By using negative reminder concept. By using negative reminder concept, you can easily solve this question. Negative reminder concept. 19 ones are 19. Negative reminder is minus 4. Minus 4 power odd number. Minus 4 power 23. 19 ones are 19. It is plus 4 power 23. Minus 4 power 23 plus 4 power 23. What will be the answer? Answer for this question is 0. This question is an original CAT exam question. This is an original CAT exam question. Please. This question can also be solved by using another concept. 
ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब इट इज नथिंग बट ए प्लस बी इंटू ए स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर सो ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब ट्वेल्व इज नथिंग बट थ्री इंटू फोर थ्री इज ए फैक्टर ऑफ ट्वेल्व थ्री इज ए फैक्टर ऑफ ट्वेल्व दट मीन्स ए प्लस बी इज ए फैक्टर ऑफ ए प्लस बी is a factor of not only a cube plus b cube it is a factor of a power n plus b power n if n is an odd number if n is an odd number a plus b is always a factor of a power n plus b power n a power n plus b power n 15 a power n plus b power n what is the power value power value is 23 23 it is an odd number so it is divisible by a plus b 15 plus 23 it is 38 38 is divisible by 19 definitely yes 38 is 2 into 19 so a power n plus b power n it is always divisible by a plus b if n is odd a plus b is 15 plus 23 38 so if it is divisible by 38 it is also divisible by 19 it is also divisible by 19 13th is an exam model question and 14th is also an exam model question 13 14 all the today entire class we are going to discuss a singular concept that is reminders starting from an basic foundation to a level where you can eliminate the answer options everything we will discuss 13th question 7 power 52 yesterday we discussed this question which power of 7 when divided by 2 402 i will get plus 1 or minus 1 7 power 4 is 7 square into 7 square 7 square into 7 square is 49 into 49 49 square is 2401 49 square is 2401 so these are nothing but remainder of 2401 power 13 divided by 2402 divided by 2402 Two four zero two ones are two four zero two. It is minus one. Minus one power odd is minus one. If you got a negative remainder, add it with the denominator to get the positive remainder. Seven power four is seven square into seven square. Seven square is fourteen nine. Fourteen nine square is. 2401 so 24021s are 2402 negative remainder is minus 1 minus 1 power odd is minus 1 if you got a negative remainder add it with the denominator 14th again an exam model question this can be written as 17 2s are 34 negative remainder is minus 4 minus 4 power 40 divided by 17 Again, I am repeating it. Make the numerator base. Make the numerator base smaller than the denominator. Seventeen ones are seventeen. I will get thirteen. So when I am getting four, four is a relatively smaller value. So I will take minus four power forty divided by seventeen. This is four power forty divided by seventeen. This is nothing but four power forty can be written as four square. Power twenty four square power twenty divided by seventeen four square power twenty divided by seventeen sixteen divided by seventeen seventeen ones are seventeen negative remainder minus one minus one power even it is nothing but plus one minus one power Even number it is nothing but plus one. Seventeen twos are thirty-four. Negative remainder is minus four. Minus four power forty. Minus four power forty is four power forty. Four power forty can be written as four square power twenty divided by seventeen. Four square is sixteen. Sixteen by seventeen. Seventeen ones are seventeen. Minus one power twenty. Minus one power even is plus one. Minus one power even is plus one. Now see here, sir. This is a very very good question. 
सेवन पवर सेवन पवर सेवन डिवाइडेड बै नईन अंड ईवन दी इज आलो ए गुड क्वेश्चन वाट इज दट वी जस्ट डिस्कस्ड ए पवर एन प्लस बी पवर एन ईज आलवेज डिविजिबल बै ए पवर एन प्लस बी पवर एन ईज आलवेज डिविजिबल बै ए प्लस बी ए पवर एन प्लस बी पवर एन ईज आलवेज डिविजिबल बै ए प्लस बी इफ एन ईज एन आड नंबर a power n plus b power n it is always divisible by a plus b if n is an odd number this is a cat exam model question this is a cat exam replica question cat exam model question cat exam model question if you listen to my classes all the cat previous year questions are also a part of it if you are preparing for an examination like cat probably any other aptitude examination will be extremely easy for you the question is four fives power four twos plus four twos power four fives divided by seven let me write it four fives then i will solve the 15th question 4 fives power 4 twos plus 4 twos power 4 fives divided by 7 divided by 7 this is the question now see here how to solve this question first make this divide 4 fives by 7 so this is nothing but 7 7 4 49 Remaining it is sixty-five. Seven nines are sixty-three. Twenty-five. Seven threes are twenty-one. Remaining it is four. Four power two 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 plus divide this number by this number. Seven threes are twenty-one. Twelve. Seven ones are seven. Fifty-two. Seven sevens are fourteen-nine. Remaining it is three. Three power five 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 five. Divided by seven. First, to make the numerator base smaller than the denominator, then make it into four square power one 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 one. This is nothing but three power five power one 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 divided by seven. Divided by seven. Very very good question, sir. Again, I am repeating here. Please see here. Four fives divided by seven. Seven sevens are fourteen nine. Sixty five. Seven nines are sixty three. Twenty five. Seven threes are twenty one. Remaining it is four. Seven threes are twenty one. Twelve. Seven ones are seven. Fifty two. Seven sevens are fourteen nine. Three. Four power four twos plus three power four fives. Four square power four one. Three power five. Four ones it is nothing but an odd number. A power n plus b power n is divisible by a plus b. So it is nothing but four square plus three power five. Sixteen plus two forty three. This is nothing but two fifteen nine. Two fifteen nine. It is perfectly divisible by seven. Seven threes are twenty one. Seven sevens are fourteen nine. Seven into thirty seven. It is perfectly divisible. Answer is nothing but zero. Answer is nothing but zero. Sixteenth, fifteenth one we have not solved it. Fifteenth one, very very good question itself. If the answer options, if the answer options are given, this question will become very very easy. First thing, nine ones are nine. Negative remainder is minus two. Minus two power seven power seven divided by nine. This is an odd number. Minus power odd number. It is an odd number. So it is minus remainder of two power seven power seven divided by nine. Minus remainder of this is minus two. Nine ones are nine. Negative remainder is minus two. Negative remainder is minus two. So minus two power odd. So minus came outside. Now you can solve this question very very easily. 
so a reminder which power of 2 when divided by 9 the reminder it is 1 2 power 6 divided by 9 it is 1 so divide this power 7 power 7 divided by 6 6 ones are 6 reminder it is nothing but 1 reminder it is nothing but 1 so 7 power 7 dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus reminder divisor into quotient plus reminder don't forget there is a minus outside minus reminder of 2 power 6k plus 1 2 power 6k plus 1 divided by 9 so minus reminder of 2 power 6 power k into 2 power 1 divided by 9 these 1 it is minus 2. Don't forget this minus. Answer is nothing but 7. Answer is nothing but 7. Sir, can I do by using positive reminder? Positive reminder also will give you the same answer. 9 ones are 9 minus 2. Minus 2 power 7 power 7. Entire idea is to find out which power of 2 when divided by 9. It is giving you 1. 2 power 6 is 64. 64 divided by 9 is 1. Then divide this power with this power. The best way for you to learn mathematics is to start creating your own questions and understand the logics. This logic already we discussed. A power n plus B power n. It is always divisible by A plus B if n is an odd number. If n is an odd number. If n is an odd number. Let us see the next question. Now till now we discussed negative reminder concept. Negative reminder concept. But there is a drawback with negative reminder concept. What is the negative reminder concept? Negative reminders. What is the drawback of negative reminder concept? Why are we discussing Euler's theorem? Drawback of negative reminder why we should know euler theorem or how it helps to solve the questions much more faster time drawback of negative reminder theorem suppose for example if the question is 3 power 40 divided by 25 if in the exam 3 power 40 divided by 25 it is asked According to our negative reminder logic, what is the logic? We have to find out which power of numerator when divided by denominator, either I will get plus 1 or minus 1. Which power of numerator when divided by denominator, either I will get plus 1 or minus 1. 3 square divided by 25, 9. 3 cube divided by 25, 27 by 25, 2. 3 power 4, 81. 81 divided by 25, I am not getting. 3 power 6, 729. 729 divided by 25, we are not getting. We are not able to determine which power of 3 when divided by 25 it is a plus 1 or minus 1 so for a lot of problems till now whatever the problems that we solved you are able to determine which power of numerator when divided by denominator it is a plus 1 or minus 1 but in a lot of problems you cannot do it so what is the drawback of negative reminder if the power of If the power of numerator, if the power of numerator when divided by denominator, if the power of numerator when divided by denominator, when deno divided by denominator is not giving, is not giving plus one or minus one in less time then these negative reminder concept is little ineffective. See these questions. 3 power 40 divided by 25. 3 power 40 divided by 25. You are unable to determine which power of 3 when divided by 25. I will get plus 1 or minus 1. So Euler has proposed a very interesting theorem to find out 
which power of numerator which power of numerator now see here now first we will discuss the theorem i hope you understood the drawback of negative reminder theorem negative reminder theorem negative reminder theorem now see here what is euler's theorem euler's theorem euler's theorem states a power phi of n phi of n in higher algebra by hallen net textbook they call it as quotient of n a power phi of n divided by n it will directly give you 1 when a and p are co n are co prime to each other what do you mean by co prime to each other hcf of the numerator base and the denominator it should be 1 a power phi of n divided by n it is nothing but 1 it is when a and n are co prime to each other two numbers are said to be co prime to each other two numbers are said to be co prime to each other if they got only one factor common and that one factor it is one and the another thing is n is nothing but a composite number euler's theorem is used when the denominator it is a composite number euler's theorem is used when the denominator it is a composite number then what is phi of n what is phi of n phi of n when i discuss co primes i will tell you its application in divisibility function first we will write down the function quotient function quotient function means write down the number as a power of prime basis as a power of prime basis what are p1 p2 p3 p1 p2 p3 they are all prime numbers they are all prime numbers they are all prime numbers quotient of n is given by quotient of n is given by 1 minus 1 by p1 1 minus 1 by p2 1 minus 1 by p3 sir from where we got 1 minus 1 by p1 1 minus 1 by p2 1 minus 1 by p3 whenever i am discussing an co prime concept i will discuss in detail now today's class we will just see its application quotient euler's theorem is used euler's theorem is used when the denominator it is a composite number when the denominator it is a composite number euler's theorem is used when the denominator it is a composite number any composite number can be written as a power of prime numbers 12 is 2 square into 3 30 is 2 into 3 into 5 42 is 2 into 3 into 7 105 is 3 into 5 into 7 write the number as a power of prime numbers 1 minus 1 by p1 just to give you from where we got 1 minus 1 by p1 how many numbers are not divisible there is a definition that is attached to quotient function because it might be a little bouncer for you i'll just discuss the application part of it but i will say the definition of a quotient function quotient function is the number of natural numbers less than or equivalent to n and co prime to n number of natural numbers i will write down the definition here in case if you want to know more about this one in standard textbooks it is called tau of n tau is the greek word quotient of n i will write the definition here number of numbers number of numbers number of numbers less than or equivalent to n and co prime to n this is the definition of quotient function number of numbers less than or equivalent to n and co prime to n number of numbers less than or equivalent to n and co prime to n in case if you want to know more about it these available the concept is available in the book higher algebra by hallen knight this is one of the very good books students who are preparing for iit must have referred it 
this concept whatever i am discussing is taken from this book higher algebra by halan knight higher algebra by higher algebra by halan knight problems based on euler's theorem problems based on euler's theorem negative reminder in not all the cases where the power of numerator when divided by denominator will give you plus 1 minus 1 directly so we will make use of this euler theorem to get the answer fast to get the answer fast first question now one important key point which you should make a note first we will write that euler's theorem in the box which we are going to use it reminder when a power phi of n a power phi of n divided by n it is nothing but 1 when n is a composite number when n is a composite number a power phi of n divided by n it is nothing but 1 when n is a composite number step number question number 1 once we do 3 to 4 problems then the logic will be extremely clear to you reminder when 5 power 37 is divided by 63 63 it is a composite number write the number as the power of prime numbers 9 is a composite number so it is 3 square into 7 power 1 3 square into 7 power 1 so what is phi of n phi of n is nothing but n into 1 minus 1 by p1 1 minus 1 by p2 1 minus 1 by p1 1 minus 1 by p2 there are two prime numbers n is nothing but 63 1 minus p1 is nothing but the prime base 1 by 3 p2 is nothing but the another prime base 1 by 7 these 63 into 2 by 3 into 6 by 7 21 threes are 63 6 6 are 36 once you got these phi of n directly you can write reminder a power phi power phi of n phi of 63 is 36 divided by 63 it is nothing but one just making use of these euler's theorem concept a power phi of n divided by n it is 1 5 power 36 divided by 63 it is 1 so what will be the answer answer is 5 power 37 can be written as 5 power 36 into 5 power 1 divided by 63 5 power 36 into 5 power 1 divided by 60 these nothing but 1 1 into 5 answer is nothing but 5 first problem you can also make use of negative reminder concept 5 cube is 125 63 2 are 126 by making use of negative reminder first one you can solve it but second onwards it will be little difficult for you second onwards it will be difficult for you step number one Euler's theorem is applied when the denominator it is a composite number 63 is 9 into 7 which is the 3 square into 7 phi of n is n into 1 minus 1 by p1 1 minus 1 by p2 what are p1 and p2 here p1 and p2 are nothing but the prime numbers p1 and p2 are nothing but the prime numbers 63 into 1 minus 1 by 3 1 minus 1 by 7 so answer is nothing but 36 5 power 36 divided by 63 is 1 question is 5 power 37 another 5 should be there so answer is 5 i hope the first question it is clear once you solve Once you solve few more problems, then it will be very, very clear to you. First question, I hope it is clear to you. Second one, 2 power 100 
divided by 153. 153, Euler's theorem is used when it is a composite number, which is 17 into 9, which is 3 square into 17 power 1. 3 square into 17 power 1. So, phi of 153 will be, phi of 153 is 150 n into 1 minus 1 by p, 1 minus 1 by 3, 1 minus 1 by 17. So, d is nothing but 153 into 2 by 3 into 16 by 17. 51 threes are 616s are 96. 616s are 96. So, this answer is nothing but, this answer is nothing but 2 power 96 into 2 power 4 divided by 153. 2 power 4 divided by 153. 2 power 96 divided by 153. It is 1. So, answer is 16. If you use a negative reminder concept, if you use a negative reminder concept, finding out which power of 2, finding out which power of 2, when divided by 153, it will be very difficult if you use negative reminder concept. Euler's theorem is introduced to save our time and save the number of steps. To save our time and save the number of steps. First question, I hope it is clear. Second question, I hope this is also clear. Third question. Third one. 3 power 80 divided by 25. Euler's theorem is used when the denominator it is a composite number. 25 it is nothing but 5 square. 25 it is nothing but 5 square. Phi of n is n into 1 minus 1 by 5, 4 by 5. So, answer is nothing but 20. What is 20? 20 is the quotient of 25. According to Euler's theorem, directly we will get the answer as 3 power 20 divided by 25, which is nothing but 1. But I want 3 power 80. 3 power 80 is nothing but 3 power 20 power 4 divided by 25. 1 power any number divided by 25. Answer is nothing but 1. Answer is nothing but 1. I hope the idea it is clear. 25 it is 5 square. 5 of 25 is 25 into 1 minus 1 by 5. Directly. Otherwise, you have to do which power of 3 when divided by 25 it is plus 1 or minus 1. Answer is 1. Next question. Very, very good question, sir. Find the last 3 digits for 57 power 802. Last 3 digits. First, we will write the concept. Concept. The last 2 digits of a number the last two digits of a number, the last two digits of a number, last two digits of a number, it is the reminder when you divide a number by 100. This is something which I discussed in previous class. Example, 123, 123, the last two digits, the last two digits of 123, it is nothing but 23. This is the reminder when you divide a number by 100. 123 divided by 100. 100 ones are 100. What is the reminder? 23. Last two digits of a number. This is extremely important. Last two digits of a number is the reminder when you divide a number by 100. Next one. Last three digits of a number. If I want the unit digit of a number, I will divide by 10. If I want the last two digits of a number, I will divide it by 100. If I want the last three digits of a number, I will divide it by 1000. I will divide it by 1000. Please make a note of these. Very, very important key point. 
If I want the unit digit of a number, I will divide by 10. If I want the last two digits of a number, I will divide by 100. If I want the last three digits of a number, I will divide it by 1000. Last two digits is divided by 100. Last three digits is divided by 1000. Divided by 1000. Once you know this concept, 1000 is a composite number. From there you can find the quotient function and get the answer very quickly get the answer very quickly i hope the idea it is clear now see here question last three digits of 57 power 802 last three digits is nothing but divide these number by thousand divide these number by thousand divide these number by thousand from there you will get the quotient value 1000 it is a composite number, 1000 is nothing but 8 into 125, 8 into 125, so it is 2 cube into 5 cube, 2 cube into 5 cube, so the quotient of 1000 is nothing but, quotient of 1000 is n into 1 minus 1 by p, 1 minus 1 by 5, 10 over, remaining it is nothing but 400, remaining it is nothing but 400. So this question is nothing but 57 power 400, power 2 into 57 square, into 57 square divided by 1000. 57 power 400 divided by 1000, it is 1. 57 square is 3249, 3249 divided by 1000, 1000, 3s are 3000, answer for this question is 249, answer for this question is 249. Again, I am repeating it. Last three digits we want. If it is the last two digits, I would have divided it by 100. Because it is the last three digits, I divided it by 1000. 1000, it is a composite number. 1000, it is a composite number. So, 1000 is 8 into 125. 1000 is 8 into 125, 5 of n is n into 1 minus 1 by p, 1 minus 1 by p2. So, d is nothing but 400, 400. How many times 400 goes in? 802, 400 twos are 800, remaining is 57 square, 57 square is 3249, 3249 divided by 1000, 1000 threes are 3000, remaining it is 249. This question we did it and fourth question also we did it, fourth also we did it. Slowly, slowly, slowly we will increase the, we will increase the level of difficulty. Any doubts are there? We will see it in live chat. Anything other than an academic doubt? Probably it's of no use to me. Next one. Next question. Let us see the next question. 6 power 84 divided by 49. See here, sir. Very, very good question it is. 6 power 84 divided by 49. 49 is nothing but 7 square. So, quotient of 49 is n into 1 minus 1 by 7. It is into 6 by 7. 7 7s are 49. 7 6s are 42. So, according to Euler's theorem, this is nothing but a power 5 of n divided by n. 6 power 42 divided by 49, it is 1. 6 power 42 divided by 49 it is 1 i want 6 power 84 so this is nothing but 6 power 42 whole power 2 a power m power n is a power m into n divided by 49 this is nothing but 1 1 square it is nothing but 1 1 square it is nothing but 1 a power 
49 is 7 square, phi of 49 is 49 into 1 minus 1 by P1, P1 is 7 here, so 49 into 6 by 7 is 42, 6 power 42 divided by 49, it is nothing but 1. This question is clear, the next slide it will be very interesting, 6th one, power to the power, 5 power 7 power 5, 5 power 7 power 5 divided by 18. 18 is nothing but 3 square into 2 power 1. 18 is nothing but 3 square into 2 power 1. Euler's theorem is used when the denominator is a composite number. So, quotient of 18. It is nothing but 18 into 1 minus 1 by 3, 1 minus 1 by 2. 2, 2 cancel. It is nothing but 6. So, according to Euler's quotient function, 5 power 6 divided by 18. 5 power 6 divided by 18. It is nothing but 1. 5 power 6 divided by 18. It is nothing but 1. Now, already we did this power to the power problems. 5 power 6 divided by 18 is 1. Divide this power with this power. Then we will see the form. So, 7 power 9 power 5 divided by 6. 6 ones are 6. Remainder, it is 1. So, dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient. 7 power 9 power 5 is divisor into quotient plus a remainder. So, these is nothing but remainder of 5 power 6k plus 1 divided by 18. 5 power 6k plus 1 divided by 18. 5 power 6 divided by 18 it is 1 into 5. 5 divided by 18 it is 5. Very, very important question. 5 power 7 power 9 power 5 divided by 18. You might probably fear looking at a question that there are higher powers. But it's an easy question. 18 is nothing but 3 square into 2. So, 5 of 18 is 18 into 1 minus 1 by 3, 1 minus 1 by 2. 5 of 18 it is 6. 5 of 18 if it is 6. Seventh question. It's a very good question, sir. Eighth. Eighth onwards, a new model will come. Seventh question. 4 power 101. Question. 4 power 101 plus 6 power 101 divided by 25. Divided by 25. Denominator, it is a composite number. So, 25, it is nothing but 5 square. So, what is the quotient function of 25? Quotient function of 25 is n into 1 minus 1 by p. 25 by 5. It is 5. That means, remainder when 4 power 5 divided by 4 power 1 minus 1 by 5. We took it as 1 by 5. 25 into 1 minus 1 by 5 is 4 by 5, which is 20. Which is 20. Let us write it again. These is nothing but, these is nothing but n into 1 minus 1 by p1. 25 into 1 minus 1 by 5. 25 into 4 by 5, which is nothing but 20. Which is nothing but 20. So, remainder 1, 4 power 20 divided by 25. 4 power 20 divided by 25, it is 1. 4 power 20 divided by 25, it is 1. Now I want 4 power 101. 4 power 101 is 25 is 100. It is pending, it is 4 power 1. So here we will get 4. Similarly, remainder 1, 6 power 20, power 5 into 6 power 1 divided by 25. These also 1. 
6 by 25, it is 6. So 4 plus 6, answer is nothing but 10. 4 plus 6, answer is nothing but 10. Again, I am repeating, Euler's theorem is used. When the denominator, it is a composite number. When de denominator, it is composite number. 25, it is 5 square. 5 of 25 is n into 1 minus 1 by p1. 25 into 4 by 5. 5 of 25, it is 20. 25 is 100. Remainder, it is 1. 25 is 100. Remainder, it is 1. 4 power 1, 6 power 1. 4 plus 6, it is 10. Eighth question. Eighth question. I hope this concept is clear to you. Eighth one. Please listen carefully to the eighth question, sir. Eighth question. Eighth question. Eighth, ninth and tenth all are of same model. Eleventh and twelfth. Eleventh and twelfth are of different model. Eighth question. Reminder one. Six power 83. Listen carefully to this question. 6 power 83 divided by 49. 6 power 83 divided by 49. What we will do is, we will use a backtracking method. We will use a backtracking method. What is backtracking method? Going from the known to the unknown. We will use backtracking method. What is this backtracking method? Let us see. Step number 1. 49, it is a composite number. So, 49, it is the 7 square. Totient of 49, which is nothing but n into 1 minus 1 by p, which is nothing but 42, which is nothing but 42. So, this is nothing but 6 power 42 divided by 49, it is 1. This is something which we know from an Euler function. 6 power, 6 power, 42 divided by 49. 49 is a composite number. So, composite number can be written as a power of prime number. 49 is 7 square. So, totient of 49 is 42. Totient of 49 is 42. 6 power 42 divided by 49, it is 1. If 6 power 42 divided by 49, it is 1. 6 power 84. 1 power any natural number, it will be 1. 6 power 84 also, it is 1. 6 power 84 also, it is 1. 6 power 84 divided by 49. 6 power 84 divided by 49. This is nothing but 1. 6 power 84 divided by 49, it is 1. But according to the question, I require 6 power 83. 6 power 84 is one step ahead of 6 power 83. So I will do it into 6 into 6 power 83 divided by 49, it is 1. I hope this step is clear here. Now I will do it at above. Assume this question is not there. I will do from here till here. Reminder 1, 6 into 6 power 83 divided by 49 is 1. 6 divided by 49, it is 6. 6 power 83 divided by 49. I don't know. What is x here? x is the remainder when 6 power 83 is divided by 49. When I further divide, answer is nothing but 1. When I further divide, answer is nothing but 1. When you divide any number less than 49 with how many ever times, the remainder does not change. 5 divided by 7, 5. 5 divided further by 7, answer is 6x. 6x is the dividend. Divisor is 49. Quotient is k. Remainder it is 1. 6x is the dividend. 49 is the divisor. k is quotient. Remainder is 1. So, dividend equivalent to 
divisor into quotient divisor into quotient plus 1 so 6x equivalent to 48k plus k plus 1 48k plus k plus 1 divisible by 6 divisible by 6 k plus 1 should be divisible by 6 so k minimum has to be 5 if k minimum it is 5 6x equivalent to 246 If 6x equal to 246, x value is nothing but 41. X value is nothing but 41. Very very important a cat replica question. This can also be asked under binomial theorem. 6 power 83 divided by 49. Step number one. 49 is a composite number. 49 is 7 square. 49 is 7 square. 5 of 49 is 49 into 6 by 7, which is 42. According to Euler's quotient function, 6 power 42 divided by 49 it is 1. But I want 83. Which power of multiple of forty two is closer to eighty three? Forty two twos are eighty four. So six power eighty four divided by forty nine it is one. Eighty four is six into six power eighty three. Six divided by from this step I did it at the top. Six divided by forty nine which is six. Six power eighty three by forty nine. I don't know. It is x. When I further divide, remainder does not change. What is this concept here? Dividend equivalent to dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Six x equivalent to forty eight k plus k plus one. This is divisible by six. This is divisible by six. K plus one should be divisible by six. For k plus one to be divisible by six, k minimum it is five. K minimum it is five. Six x equivalent to two forty six. What is x value? X value is nothing but forty one. X value is nothing but forty one. I hope the idea it is clear. Maybe you might feel little uncomfortable solving the eighth question first. That is the reason. Ninth question also we will do. If possible, I'll create one more question on spot so that it will be clear to you. Ninth question. Reminder one, reminder one, eight power eighty three, eight power eighty three divided by forty nine. Eight power eighty three divided by forty nine. Forty nine is seven square. So quotient of forty nine will be quotient of forty nine will be forty nine into one minus one by seven. Which is forty two. Same value we did it for the eighth. Only thing numerator base is changed. So this we is nothing but eight power forty two divided by forty nine. It is nothing but one. Eight power forty two divided by forty nine. It is one. What is the multiple of forty two nearer to eighty three, eighty four? Eight power eighty four divided by forty nine. It is one. Eight power eighty four is eight into eight power eighty three divided by forty nine. Eight into eight power eighty three divided by forty nine. Till here it is same as the previous case. Eight divided by forty nine. Eight. Eight power eighty three by forty nine. I don't know x. When I further divide, remainder does not change. Remainder does not change. So eight into x dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Divisor into quotient plus remainder. Dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So eight x equivalent to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Eight x equivalent to forty nine k plus one. Eight x is nothing but forty eight k plus k plus one. Forty eight k plus k plus one. This is divisible by eight. Divisible by eight. 
k plus 1 should be divisible by 8 k minimum should be 7 7 plus 1 is 8 it should be divisible by 7 if k minimum it is 7 8x equal to 49 7 are 343 plus 1 344 x is nothing but 43 x is nothing but 43 again i am repeating it sir 8 power 83 divided by 49 8 power 83 divided by 49 49 is a 7 square if the denominator is a composite number, I will make use of Euler's theorem. Toshant of 49 is 49 into 6 by 7, which is nothing but 42. Once you understand this, how to write 8 power 42 by 49 as 1, then everything you have to go back. 42 second multiple is 84. From 84, I require 83. 8 into 8 power 83 by 49. 8 by 49 is 8. 8 power 83 by 49. I do not know the value x. But when you divide any number by 49 and the numerator if it is less than 49, how many times you divide the answer does not change. 8x is dividend, divisor, quotient, reminder. Dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus reminder. 8x equivalent to 48k plus k plus 1. Divisible by 8, divisible by 8. k plus 1, k minimum value, it should be 7. k minimum value. Already we did this question, 10th question. B is nothing but 6 power 83 plus 8 power 83 divided by 49. 6 power 83 plus 8 power 83 divided by 49. This answer we got it as 41. Second one answer just now we got it as 43. 41 plus 43 divided by 49. 41 plus 43 is 84. 49 ones are 49. Reminder it is nothing but 35. If the 35 if it is less than 49 that itself will be the answer. In Euler's theorem you can also do a backtracking. You can also do a backtracking and try to solve this question, 49 is 7 square, 5 of 49 is 49 into 1 minus 1 by 7. If this is 42, 8 power 42 by 49. Once you practice, this question will come, become easy. Anyway, by knowing Chinese reminder theorem, you can actually eliminate a lot of incorrect answer options. You can eliminate incorrect answer option. That method will be the last method which I discuss once your fundamentals are clear. Once your fundamentals are clear. I will do one more question. Reminder 1, 4 power 19 divided by 25. 4 power 19 divided by 25. Same model. 4 power 19 divided by 25. First thing is, 4 and 25 are co-prime to each other. 25, it is a composite number. So, 25, it is 5 square. So, quotient of 25 is n into 1 minus 1 by p. 1 minus 1 by 5 is 4 by 5. This is nothing but 20. Totient of 25 is 25 into 1 minus 1 by 5. So, according to Euler's totient function, 4 power 20 by 25, 4 power 20 by 25, which is nothing but 1. 4 power 20 divided by 25, it is 1. But I require 4 power 19. 4 into 4 power 19 divided by 25, it is nothing but 1. 4 divided by 25, which is 4. 4 power 19 by 25, I don't know, x. When I further divide, reminder does not change. So, dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient, divisor into quotient plus reminder. So, 4x equivalent to 
ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ కె ప్లస్ కె ప్లస్ వన్ కె ప్లస్ వన్ జస్ట్ నో వీ డిస్కస్డ్ ఫోర్ ఎక్స్ ఈజ్ డివిజిబుల్ బై ఫోర్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఈజ్ డివిజిబుల్ బై ఫోర్ కె ప్లస్ వన్ షుడ్ బి డివిజిబుల్ బై ఫోర్ సో కె మినిమమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద త్రీ k minimum it is the 3 so 4x is nothing but 75 plus 1 76 the answer for this question is 19 answer for this question is 19 very 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 good question it is students who are preparing for the cat level you don't need to refer any other book just to follow my classes follow the structure which i am creating extremely important for any other student who has, who wants to prepare at an higher aptitude level whenever the denominator it is a composite number i will use euler's totient function i will use euler's totient function 11th question 25 it is a composite number so it is 5 square 25 it is nothing but 5 square so totient of 25 which is nothing but 25 into 1 minus 1 by 5 which is nothing but 20 totient of 25 is nothing but 20 totient of 25 it is nothing but 20 so these nothing but reminder 1 21 power according to totient function 21 power 20 divided by 25 it is 1 21 power 20 divided by 25 it is 1 now once we got 1 in the negative reminder we discussed divide this power with this power so these nothing but 21 21 21 any number of times divided by 20 21 is are 20 reminder it is 1 so these nothing but reminder of 21 power divisor into quotient plus reminder divided by 25 so answer is nothing but 21 answer is nothing but 25 1 i hope the idea it is clear so 25 totient of 25 is 20 21 power 20 divided by 25 it is 1 divide the power by the power 21 21 21 any number of times divided by 20 it is 1 dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus reminder divisor into quotient plus reminder Eleventh question seems like a difficult question, but once you know the logic, once you know Chinese reminder theorem, still you can simplify this problem. First I started with the negative reminder, then I said the drawback of negative reminder, then we discussed Euler theorem. In Euler theorem, we solved a lot of problems. Then we discussed the backtracking method in an Euler's theorem. Backtracking method with Euler's theorem. Let me let me see the comments. Any valid doubts? People are so idle. Right? People do not have any other time but use these comment box as a charting platform. Right? <laughs> 11th one. 25 it is 5 square 21 power 20 divided by 25 it is nothing but 1 very very good question now i hope it is clear 12th question 12th one see here sir 12th it is a very very important concept suppose 1 2 3 4 is there 1 2 3 4 digital sum digital sum is nothing but sum of the digits until you get a single digit number digital sum is the sum of the digits until you get a single digit number 4 plus 3 7 9 10 10 it is nothing but 1 or you can also divide these number by 9 
divide these number by 9 1 2 3 4 divided by 9 if you see here 9 ones are 9 33 9 threes are 27 64 9 sevens are 63 reminder it is one very very important key point please write down digital sum of a number digital sum of a number digital sum of a number it is nothing but the reminder when you divide a number by nine digital sum of a number digital sum of a number it is nothing but the reminder when you digital sum of a number it is the reminder when you divide a number by nine very very important key point generally in all the classes it will be done for addition subtraction multiplication but you can also do it for the numbers digital sum of any number it is the reminder when you do when you divide a number by nine digital sum of a number it is nothing but the reminder when you divide a number by nine first question i want the digital sum of 4 power 37 digital sum is nothing but the reminder when you divide a number by nine digital sum of a number it is the reminder when you divide a number by nine same apply negative reminder or euler's theorem if it is 4 cube power 12 into 4 power 1 divided by 9 64 divided by 9 1 1 into 4 it is nothing but 4 1 into 4 it is nothing but 4 so 4 power 37 if i want the digital sum of this number digital sum is nothing but the reminder when you divide a number by divide a number by 9 next one 5 power 61 5 power 61 it is nothing but the reminder when you divide a number by 9 when you divide a number by 9 9 is nothing but 3 square whenever the denominator it is a composite number you can apply euler's theorem 1 minus 1 by 3 which is 6 which is 6. So, these is nothing but reminder of 5 power 6 power 10 applying the Euler's quotient function into 5 power 1 divided by 9. 5 power 6 divided by 9, it is 1, 1 into 5. 1 into 5, answer is nothing but 5. 1 into 5, answer is nothing but 5. Whenever you need the digital sum of a powers just divide by 9 either use a negative reminder concept or use euler's theorem to get the answer 5 power 6 power 10 into 5 power 9 5 power 6 by 9 according to the euler's quotient function it is 1 1 5 is our 5 one five zero five. I hope the idea it is clear. What are all the concepts that we discussed? The concepts which we discussed is negative reminder, negative reminder, and all the possible models that we discussed. Then we discussed how to solve the questions when the denominator, when the denominator it is a composite number it is there next what is the drawback of euler's theorem what is the drawback of euler's theorem when the euler's theorem is not used when the euler's theorem is not used how to eliminate wrong answer options how to eliminate wrong answer options and what is the theorem that helps to eliminate wrong answer options the name of the theorem is chinese reminder theorem chinese reminder theorem then how to solve the problems based on a power n plus r minus b power n and some exam model questions 